Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and this time I have the part 11 of the top 10 CD tweaks compatible with iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. Now as more tweaks are released and updated for iOS 10, I will be uploading a lot of more of these videos so make sure you subscribe to not miss any of them. App Active Pro. This tweak allows to assign actions to the icons of the apps. So by tapping, triple tapping or holding the icon of an app you can perform different actions so if you jump to the settings of this tweak you will have configure apps if you go here you can choose which of the icons of the apps you want to use or you can use all of them by enabling it here or you can do the same here for the folder apps which means that you can enable these actions for the apps that you have within folders once you configure which apps you want to use you go to activator and then just go here to anywhere and then here you will have app active pro double tap here you have Hold. also you have single tap and triple tap so here you can see I have enabled just the app store so let's assign an, an action here for the app store icon so let's just choose an action here let me choose the screenshot okay so take screenshot and you will notice here once I tap and hold the app store icon it will take a screenshot of my device as you can see as simple as that it's very useful you can assign all the activator actions to the icons of the apps. Cone gestures for YouTube. This tweak will add some very useful features to the YouTube app. For example, here on the right side, you can swipe up to turn up the volume or you can swipe down to turn down the volume. Here on the other side, you can change the brightness simply by swiping up or down or you can go forward 30 seconds simply by swiping like this or backwards 30 seconds simply by swiping like this. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak, here's where you can enable or disable these features. So you have a kill switch here to enable or disable the tweak, and then you can enable or disable any of these features. Clear on open. When you search for something on your spotlight, once you go out of the spotlight, if you go back, you will still have that search result there. But with this tweak, once you come back to the spotlight search, it will be cleared. The result of the last search will be cleared. 3G Unrestrictor. It allows you to bypass the restrictions that you get when you are not on your Wi-Fi but when you're using your cellular data. So whether you are on 3G, 4G or LTE, it will bypass that so you can download large apps from the App Store. You can watch HD on YouTube and all that stuff that you are restricted to do when you're connected to your cellular data. So to add an app here to the unrestricted apps, all you have to do is just click edit here, click the plus sign there and you can add, for example, I can add YouTube right here so I can watch HD videos on YouTube. I can select HD using 3G Unrestrictor and you can see here click done and that's done. It will add that app to the 3G Unrestricted apps. CC Shadow Remover, a simple tweak for the control center. What it does is that it removes the shadow that you get here behind the control center. Once you open the control center, you will notice a slight shadow behind it, but this tweak will remove that. System Aperio, another tweak for the control center. Once you open the control center, you can see it will blur out the background of the control center. So this looks pretty awesome. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, you will have three different types of blur to choose from. But first of all, you enable the tweak right here and then you have extra light, light and dark. You can choose between three types of blur. Open folder dim is a simple tweak for the folders. So once you open a folder, you will see it will dim out here the background around the folder. So you can see this, is, this part is white, much brighter and it will dim out this part right here around the folders. Password events. This tweak allows you to sign activator actions when you enter your passcode. So you have four different gestures here. So when the password fails, when the password will be successfully entered. And also you have the same for the touch ID failed and successful touch ID. So you can assign an action once you open your device using your touch ID or your passcode or when the device fails to open. So you can see here, I have successfully password entry here. I have set to open the calculator app. So you can set any of the activator actions to be performed. Once you've done that, I have set the open calculator here and you will see once I open my device, once I successfully enter the passcode, it will immediately open the calculator app. 
single line date this tweak will make the day and the date show on a single line here on the notification center also it will apply it to the search here on the home screen of the device the tweak doesn't have anything to configure under settings all you have to do is install it swish switcher this is a fun tweak for the app switcher and it will add this sound when you close an app on the app switcher you can hear it will add that swish sound to the app switcher which is pretty nice it is as i said it's a fun tweak it's not very very useful but it's a fun tweak to have so under the settings of the tweak you have an enable button to play the sound you can use the ringtone volume for the volume of the swish sound and also you can use the vibration once the sound is played it will also have a vibration so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tweak for more videos like this make sure you subscribe also don't forget to follow me on my social media you will find all the links in the description of this video